changes have taken place in the 94 years of the exhibition. And 2022 is a time when we have made two major changes. For the first time, we are recognizing acrylic artists as an entity upon themselves and not grouping them in with the oil painters in the awards. The other thing that we did for the first time, we put out the catalog with the complete show. Every piece of work accepted into the show is in the catalog and the catalogs can be purchased uh, before you leave for the day. Um, in all, 347 artists applied for, to show their work in the exhibition. After a double jury process by nine individuals, we selected, I want to make sure I get the numbers right, 143 artists to show their work. Uh, two of those artists are students from the Florence Academy that received $5,000 scholarships from American Artists Professional League to continue their studies. Uh, both of their works are on the back wall over there. And you can read more about these young artists in the catalog. Okay. Um, the bylaws of AAPL require that we have an annual meeting of the members of the organization. So to fulfill that commitment at the end of the presentation of awards, Aki will do a very brief uh, announcement of some of the events and happenings for AAPL. And now it gives me my biggest pleasure to present the president of our board, Aki Kano. Okay. So good afternoon and welcome to the American Artists Professional League's 94th Grand National Exhibition. My name is Aki Kano. I'm thrilled and honored to be here as the League's president. Um, the, the organization was founded in 1928 in Manhattan. Um, after not having an in-person awards reception since 2019, I'm so happy that Samaguni Club is hosting our show again. It's been a long tradition dating back to the 1980s that APL has had their GNEs here. Thank you to the staff of Sam Magundi for everything and for making this possible. I feel very grateful today that APL has received so much support from our art community. We are giving out over $20,000 on awards today. We really appreciate all the awards donors and sponsors. I'm very excited to give out the awards today to the very deserving winners. Congratulations to awards recipients and to everyone accepted to the show. Um, thank you to Marilyn Sims, our gracious awards judge. I'm sure she had a very difficult job selecting award winners, award winners from so many amazing pieces. She will say a few words after I'm done speaking. I want to give a big shout out to the other eight board members of AAPL, to the GNE committee who worked so hard behind the scenes to make the show a success. Special thanks to Gary Eckhart, our exhibition director for everything. This show would not have been possible without your careful planning of the show. I just wanted to introduce the other four board members that are here today. Um, Julia Bright, who flew in from Colorado. Arlene Burzak, vice president. Barry Schiff, director. Um, and Alex Tabar, wherever you are, the administrative manager who really worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make the sh show a success. Congratulations again, and please enjoy the ex exhibition. Um, I'm gonna introduce Marilyn Sims, our award judge. Um, she's gonna say a few words to everyone. And then Gary Eckhart will um, announce the award winners, and then I will present the certificates to the winners.
Anyway, it's really a great pleasure to be here, and Aki asked me to just um, say a few words about myself before I say a few words about the exhibition and the awards, but my full bio is, is right there. But I have been um, an art museum curator for many decades, uh, specializing mainly in works of art on paper, that is prints and drawings, watercolors, pastels, um, um, and uh, photography. But I have been an avid, avid art uh, goer, art exhibition goer for years on end, and I can't think of a greater pleasure than now at this stage of my career in um, being a judge to uh, help uh, determine the awardees of an exhibition like this one. Um, I have to, I, I have to say that. I was really impressed with the overall quality and the commitment and the dedication to uh, realism and representation um, that is, uh, is represented by all the um, uh, artists included in this exhibition. Uh, it was a very difficult um, selection process for the awards. I was very impressed with how many awards there are. And I have to uh, add to Aki's thanks to all the generous donors and contributors. Um, and I hope that um, you can see that the works that got the awards, I felt that not only, well, everyone is very talented and there is a great vision and there's a lot of skill represented in this show, but somehow with the awardees, I felt there was something a little bit beyond the intention to sort of go deeper into the person portrayed or into um, the, the landscape or the na um, nature scene or the still, still life and then sort of, you know, in, make the viewer sort of stop and, and engage a bit more um, with, the, with the artwork, the individual artwork. So I want to add my congratulations to everyone in the show. I want to um, applaud the efforts of the exhibition committee and I want to really add my cheers and um, uh, congratulations to all the awardees.